Hey ninjas, I finally got Brodia. Thank you, thank you. It's been a long time coming. I think it's an event right now. Yeah, the Star Hunt game. I'm pretty sure this quest actually started from Arlen, but I'm not gonna lie though, I have zero interest in Arlen as a person. He's just kind of like asked this tag along, I don't know. Correct. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. See, look, look, look. You can't even go one sentence without talking about Asta. We'll deal with problems outside the base zone later. Huh, it's you. You surprised? It's the first time you've seen a ninja? Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning. And I've been keeping it warm. What is it? You made me some fried rice? He's giving me food? I don't want your rice. Give it to Esther. <laughs> no, she had pudding this morning. I made it especially for you. God dang it. Why? Can you be more punchable? I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. God dang it. He's Sorry, nice. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but- Hey man, it be dash your boo, what you need? Hmm, I'm pretty confident in this dish. Unfortunately, I was a bit rushed at the end. Okay, what the f- Why am I talking about rice with Arlen? Where's Silverwolf? Where the hell's my Brody? Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. To be honest, I doubt Herta would even care. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. If he's doing research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Oh, it's uh, Mr. Screw. Ah, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. I refuse to conform. Pretty sure it's Screwlem. Yeah, that man good at screwing. So this visitor is... <clears throat> Ooh, he dapper. Get ready. Get a butterfly. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes mm. word. Hey. And yet, I can't <laughs> find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. What about me? I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Your voice is smooth, man. Yeah, why my man so fresh as fuck? Of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. Hello. No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. Wait a minute, equality of thought? You mean we have freedom to speak here? My American genes are happy. We appreciate your high praise, Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely. But I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Yeah, he got some screwing to do elsewhere. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there. Right this way. Sure. And you are? Hehe, <laughs> can you guess? Are you serious? Hey! What? <laughs> Judging by this fellow's surprised reaction, you must be the one Herta is always talking about. Manager. She's quite curious about you, as am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. Oh, yes, sir. This is Sorry. Hope? I wanted to show you around, but now I don't think I'll be able to get away. Was his coat clipping, or was that just me? Everything dies a boo, Arlen. You go on ahead. All right. See you later. Bye. Herda, she's always staring. She's always looking at me. Too many of her. Oh, strange. It should be around here somewhere. Maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. What? Huh? 
do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Leonard, put some respect on my name. Ah, she looks so pretty. <laughs> really? This is the answer? Oh, another fan of Madame Hertha's? Well, I'm afraid this portrait's being taken down soon. No, fuck that. We could sell this. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. Yeah, Leonard is a fitting name for you. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. It had nothing to do with the seductive spider lady. I don't know who or what it was. Actually, I'm investigating that right now. Get back to work. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. Every? They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her once before. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. I mean, that sounds more like a skill Can issue. guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. Facts. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Harta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. I would have fired your ass on the spot. You're making Herta actually care about her workers? Hence, my silver lining. You know Madame Herta. If she's really interested in something, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. True. To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. Can I, uh, go do something else? I'm sorry, Leonard. I'm sure you're a nice man, but I came here for other reasons. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but wow. it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. Wow. Just like... This! Leonard aims the detector at the wall. Something seems to appear on the wall. What? Just zoomed in on her to... Oh, uh, uh, that's, uh... Ah, uh, she's just so pretty. I didn't ask you to look at that! <laughs> well, you got it. We need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. Why am I doing this shit again? You got me there! I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Right. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want a friend. Oh, God. Anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you too? Listen, Lenny, your friendship better come with some cones. Oh, wait a minute. It's on the, oh, it's on the actual wall. Oh, I thought it actually like hacked the portrait. Target found the sweat drop of justice. I just snap it. Okay, he pointed at the graffiti on the wall and some blinking blue pattern started to appear. Suddenly, the pattern imploded and engulfed the surrounding sounds and colors. Something inside seems to be breaking out from it. Wait, what? Oh, I'm being attacked by a renegade ninja? This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Ooh, 8300? Ah, I can do better than that. Don't I gotta get it built up first though. Time for a fun. What a headache. Oh, it makes a weakness to physical. Oh, that means that Clara can get some more boom boom action. I mean, if Celie would give up some turns, that is. That, that scared me to death. Huh? Did you see that? It seemed like something popped up here, then Void Rangers jumped out. Liddy, Liddy, hush, 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 hush. Hey, why she got a bandage on her back? But look, just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted. If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It 
it's exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Is this a transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemies somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez, Stellaron hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? You do realize they put a literal nuke inside of me. Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. I mean, I don't even think the Herta would care, to be honest, but hey, have some faith in your ninja. We gonna get this. Well, I don't share your optimism. What? If it wasn't for you, I'd probably be lying on the ground right now. That is true. You are very inadequate. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Brody! <laughs> she makes it seem easy. Is she really looking at the Curio Collection Index? Shut up, Lenny. Let her cook. Your fake ID info is ready. What? What? Yes. Yes. I could finally sneak into the Philippines. Ah, so that's what happened. She sneaked in first, then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. Let's see. The registered name is... Leonard Colliwell. I knew never to trust your ass. Sh I, I never noticed that there was an issue with this record. I subconsciously glanced right past it when I saw my own name. She's so cunning. Maybe you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Really? Really? Uh, this is like 10 years too late to make this joke. It's an honest mistake. The reaction of any ordinary person is to check for unfamiliar names, right? I mean, who would think to check their own name? Nah, this is a cope. Arrest his ass, Herda. The graffiti's location is quite... interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. I mean, I'm enjoying this. I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. What gauntlet? They call this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game and having fun is what's most important. I don't understand that way of thinking. But it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. I think you kind of answered that already. Why did you repeat it? <sighs> Doesn't help to dwell on past failures. It's more important to do your best with the things in front of you. Ah, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. She stood there for a long time. So we're not actually gonna talk to Brody at all. I'm gonna be kind of sad to be honest. Huh? Is this section of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. Oh wait, that was the prologue, wasn't it? I mean, I know she walked through the wall right there. Hold on, I got it. It might be an effect from a curio. There was a pre-established folded space here, and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the Curio Collection Index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Nah, I just kind of forgot that whole part. Thanks for the reminder, bro. Kathy! Huh? What are you muttering about? Oh, sorry, I'm just... She touched my titty, you see. Huh? There's no graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed! The trail has gone cold. But we do have a gun. Freeze, ninja! Ugh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> Sorry, that sounded better in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely unfamiliar to you. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about my abandonment trauma. I can't help but feel there's more that they're after. <sighs> I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. Otherwise, I'll feel bad for having you do so much work for nothing. I mean, the gun's still there. Better hurry up and find a solution. God, I love that her phone case is a Game Boy. I just remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. Wait, isn't that a curio? You remember it, right? It's actually on the list of missing curios. 
I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker has a personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission... I, I got it! I got it now! The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her! No, I am very real. Look, in the end, they didn't take the Stellaron with them. Um, Lenny, please. She was so interested in the Curio Collection Index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. I really would have dropkicked this man. Wait, don't move. <sighs> I get chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. Hurry up, Lenny. <laughs> just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. So nobody saw this the whole time? Well, this wouldn't have been a high priority issue. The space station's to-do list is ridiculously long at this point. Uh-huh. I am curious, though. She paused the terminal transmissions, but didn't touch the local data at all. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. Hmm. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. Yeah, why don't you go on ahead and let me handle this? Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Uh... Look at this agreement. As you fear, the burst of light shines and the enemy appears. Listen, I tried to help. Some people, you just gotta leave them to die. Collect all graffitis to receive the event light cone. I'm coming, brony. Brother, my game crash. It's been at the loading screen for like three minutes. Wait. Wait, I can hear my clicking in the background. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, I gotta find the graffiti in here. Right, here it is. Wait, bro, how do you not... I'm not gonna say anything. Damn, hey, man, she sprayed all over this place. What was everybody doing? I mean, was everybody too busy being murdered by the Legion to do something? Nah, that couldn't be it. So I can just walk up to any of them? Oh, yeah, there's a take photo option right here. He's so happy. I wish I could live like you. Oh, ninjas, you can actually replay past events? I mean, you don't get anything, but you can still see the stories, I think. Bro, the quality of life, I can't... Man, how am I supposed to go back to Genshin like this? I mean, I still care about my Genshin family, but god dang, man. Update the game. Please. <laughs> Please. Update Genshin. Oh, we can actually graffiti the floor. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it actually stays here too. I mean, this is nice, but where's my cone? That's not gonna happen. Hey, don't talk like that to this man. He's just doing some screwing. I'll say it again. I don't care what Runmei said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down this simulated universe. Damn straight, I need them trace materials. Perta, I've made my decision. Question, what have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology in the entire universe. And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. And? In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. But now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge, but I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Are we witnessing a nerd fight? Herta, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many disappointments has it given you? The simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints me, Scroolum. Damn! Hey, yo! <laughs> Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing? <laughs> right now, you're more like, like, like someone from the Nitwit Society. <laughs> okay, that was low, Herta. Herta, I don't mean to question you. Nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. I just want to give more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. Oh. Leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. Should I? I feel like a third wheel here. I can go find Adrian Taylor or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon. 
or even the Intelligentsia Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. Ugh. Oof. Uh, hello. Uh, what's up? Hurt? 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 Screw them. We've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that uh, you're nothing but a piece of ice cold metal. Oh, that was unnecessary. Herda, apologize to this man. My apologies, madam. I ain't never even seen Herda that mad before. This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Well, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. And? Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. The question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. No, 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 screw, listen, listen, listen. You gotta think about the heart here, man. You gotta get some of that feeling up up in you. Are you worried about her mental state? Or maybe just a little tad bit. Judging by the result, I have failed to choose the most suitable time to raise this matter. Really, screw, you think? The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. Let Herta be alone for a while so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, maybe I can help in answering your questions. I mean, I, 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 I kind of, where is the story taking me? What's going on, people? Hmm. Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Hmm? Young madam, how much do you know about Punk Lord? Not a damn thing, homie. It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. Who? He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. Yes, no need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. It's as I said, it is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. Wait a minute, so Lenny was worried for nothing? I understand your concern. If the individual in question did indeed try to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. As such, Please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, madam. Let's go, Mr. Screw! As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. Huh? It will remain shut until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. No, 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 you can't do this, man! What about my progression? I will be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. It might feel a little different than usual. This will help us quickly locate the cartridge in the vast sea of data. We'll start with this data link. Now, please prepare yourself for a deep dive with your consciousness. Uh, oh, I'm a little worried. Okay, it's a fight. I thought she was gonna make me do some introspection. I ain't ready for all that mental work. Wait, trial? I wanna use mine. I literally can't use mine. Did I take it off? This character needs to be the team. Put mine on! 
Oh my lord. Young madam, are you all right? I'm Dajo Boo, but where are you? I'll be staying on the outside. I need to make sure the system projections remain stable. Mr. Leonard is here as well. There's no need to worry. We will guarantee your safety. Oh, thanks. I was very concerned about what Leonard was doing. You are now inside the data link of the Ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. Uh, I see Brony. Hacker. Yes. Oh. Conclusion. That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the Ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Young madam, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. Okay. Hey, you. Why are you staring at me? What? 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 I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. Wait a minute, so you did all this hacking for a spy cam and a popcorn box? Lastly, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe. Her and her companion. That's Kafka to you, Mr. Screw? Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. I'm Kafka. Fork in the road, huh? I got this. Brody, I fail to see any silverware here. Wanna pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try. Hey, she doing a lot of talking. It's a nice thing to have a companion who likes to talk, isn't it? Uh... Well, I'm reminded of a certain imp now. Hmm, not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. A bait? Ugh, why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. Hey, this ain't working out. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. Oh no, it sounds like you got some inside information. We've met only once. Oh? Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. We fought against one another before. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. No, not at all. It's grooving? From my point of view, it wasn't a victory. Oh. It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and I would defend. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. Oh, still me. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. Wait, 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 what do you mean by- What the? This was the right way all along. Ugh, Herta's got some psychological tactics going on. Seems like we can now continue forward. You know, part of me is actually really happy that this is replayable in the future. Like, I don't think people will be able to get the light cone, but at least they can actually see the story for themselves if they want to. Oh, back to the space station again. <gasps> A riddle? W where's the skip button? That's what I'm saying. 100% Really? How? He was right there. 
I was like five inches from his you nuts. Took the a little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. Yeah, you can't trust them intelligent types. I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. <laughs> the entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? Herta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. Fucking based Herta. Are we there yet, though? That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. Well, I'm about to get some cone in action? Yes. That incongruous feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the ether cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. Hmm. I must admit, this feels less like a chase and more like a chance encounter. I don't know, we could be being I watched. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game and attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let us accompany her till the end. Screw you are much more eloquent than me. I barely understood half of what you just said. Look, we found it. The ether cartridge is here. And it's perfectly intact. Something ain't right. Uh-oh, what's going on now? There is an unwelcome third party here with us. Who? If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. Brody, I've been had! <laughs> you want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion in her eyes. The final results are on the display table, young madam. Take a closer look, if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. Yo, I think this is actually her, right? You've guessed correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe, and found a way to continue alongside us. Oh. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. Yeah, I made the right decision pulling her. Well then, were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey? Miss Silver Wolf? Oh. Huh. You knew it all along, didn't you? Brody! I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It is a joy and an honor to have the opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. You call a Brody a fish? So, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act? You did all that to lure me in? Yeah, Screw's kind of a big daddy himself, ain't he? That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so they... Wait, they weren't even fighting about the SU. It was a setup from the whole time? Oh, shit. Damn, I'm dumb. Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. 
<laughs> okay, I know I posit it so much, but bro, look at that smug. <laughs> News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. Oh, so she had to rush. You now know everything about this encounter. Can I talk to her? Everything? No, no. You're wrong about the most important part. What part? You think I came here out of desperation, but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? Oh? I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen, and the IPC <laughs> were a disappointment. Only the society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Cavemen. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them down? You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. Wait, wait. <laughs> she took the one piece! Oh, a copy. You completed it while we were talking just now. Oh my god. Why else would I entertain so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herda is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. And I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Screw them. Will I be able to see your true strength this time? Yeah, what you gonna do, Big Daddy? The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. What? Papa Screw, what? Ohio? Huh? Yeah, what? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? Your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. Based? I'm gonna leave with this cartridge then. That's just a duplicate. Correction, not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. The real curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion, you may share that data freely. What if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. What you looking at me for? Yo, Brody's my ninja, what the hell? Then, what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. You're gonna kill me! What is the point of this then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. <laughs> I guess. Silver Wolf, I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. <laughs> How boring. However, Herta felt that this would be too easy on you, and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse hacked you and located what? all your interastral <laughs> network <laughs> accounts. A total of 76 accounts. A very impressive number. Yo, what the hell? She screwed! How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them? Including all of your game records. Oh, no, not the accounts! What? Hey, hold on a minute. Oh, you're getting dirty now. And she logged <laughs> out. 
How hasty of her. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child, but to an adult, they are but one among many ways of solving a problem. It's about time we were on our way. May he just thread to the leader RuneScape account? <laughs> a flawless victory! Hope you got a glimpse of Herda's awesomeness, kiddo. Alright, alright, I'm gonna let you flex a bit. Hmm. Make sure you never forget about it. <laughs> I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, uh but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. Damn, poor Leonard, he's expendable. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. Damn. <laughs> you actually did it? That's evil, Herda. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she said I did a good job. Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madame Herta. This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Oh, Jesus, the herd of simps. Get me out of here. Uh, huh? It's gone. It's all gone. They seriously left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far. Oh, my God. <laughs> Deleted all her shit. Yo, but look at this. Oh, this is a nice art, though. Hey, hello, calf. All right, all right. Stop with the tantrum. You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? Ugh. <sighs> if it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep, just me. Why? Do you want to come with? You're literally gonna hack the feds to get your MMO accounts back. I probably won't be able to. I'm in Alio's next script. Did you forget? Oh, right. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Oh no, don't blackmail the unpaid interns. Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you, I'm not obsessed with it. Besides, there's fun to be had along the way. Really? We, we went to a black screen for that? I mean, I, I was expecting something a bit more admirable, but Starlight elongates her shadow, eliminating the history of Punk Lord. Those who pin the legends, their vows remembered by the stars. The earliest role playing gamer said, Games are about growth. The calm tactical strategy gamer said games are about the victories. The rebellious collaborative gamer said games are about encounters. The loving narrative gamer said games are about remembrance. What the hell, where are we going here? And now the young galactic adventure gamer, she said, A game is a game and that's all there is to it. For someone obsessed with having fun, that's a very plain answer. Visitor, wait, she could come to the train? Oh, do I get cone? I think I get cone. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's a hologram. Hello. Howdy, ma'am. You blinked your eyes and made sure the person you saw was Silver Wolf. She wasn't supposed to be here. Pretend you didn't notice her. What's wrong with you? You look like you just got shocked by an electric snail. What? Are those real? Relax. I'm just dropping by for a visit. I was hacking through the dark regions of the inner astral network a while ago and happened to see a signal from the Astral Express. So I thought I'd stop by to check it out. What you see in front of you is a hologram. 
just as harmless as the whale holograms you see floating around the express. Here, see for yourself. Whale holograms? Oh, wait, we have one of those, don't they? Seeing is believing, right? If you're still not convinced, you can cut off the network connection on the express, and I'll disappear into thin air. Until you turn it back on, of course. I don't know, shutting off the Wi-Fi is a fate worse than death, brony. Oh, 10 Jade! Yeah, you can kick it.